and your path, if it gets too inside out or too far, too much this way across the golf ball or too much this way, again, I'm going to see a lot of uh, shaping of the golf ball. The golf ball is not going to go the direction that I want it to go. It's certainly not going to find the center of the fairway, or if it does, it's going to be by accident. It's not going to be on purpose. <laughs> Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to hit a driver straight every time. I'm going to go over a few key concepts that will help you to find the middle of the fairway as well as a few drills that will have you driving it straighter than ever. And at the very end we're going to go over a fantastic training aid that will help you find the fairway each and every time. But before we get to that, I've really enjoyed bringing this free content to you and our YouTube community, it's growing and that's exciting and I want it to continue to grow and you can help me do that by sharing this free content with your friends, liking this video when it's over, subscribing to my YouTube channel, which the easiest way to do that is just click on that little red box in the corner of this video and that just alerts you when I have new videos available for you to watch and then comment. Okay, so the first thing we have to understand if we're going to hit a golf ball straight and find the middle of the fairway every time is we have to understand ball flight and what dictates ball flight. And there's many elements that go into dictating what a golf ball does and how it flies, but there are really two key elements that I want to go over here and that if we hyper focus on them will have us driving it very straight. And so those two elements are face, the club face, and path, the direction the club face is traveling when we strike the golf ball. So there's a great example that I like to use uh, at my golf school when I'm teaching students to help them understand ball flight. And so I can teach everybody who's watching this video about ball flight in about 25 seconds. So the first thing we need to understand is that the club face is the most important variable for the starting direction of the golf ball. So if this face is square at impact, the initial projection of the ball is going to be straight. My curve, once it gets out there, we'll talk about that in just a second. If the face is pointed to the left, the initial projection is going to be left. And if it's pointed to the right, initial projection is going to be to the right. And again, it can curve when it gets out there. So now, what about the shape of the golf ball? What, what dictates that? And it's the path and the best example that I can give, yeah I got a ping pong uh, paddle here, so ping pong ball, ping pong paddle and if I go this way across the ping pong ball or the golf ball because we're playing golf, so golf club, head, golf ball, if I go this way across the ping pong ball the ball is going to spin this way, same thing in golf with a golf ball and a golf club and if I go this way across the ping pong ball the ball is going to spin the opposite direction. So the thing to understand here when we start talking about path and face is that if we can manage them within a certain threshold we're going to see balls that appear to be straight. What I mean by that is they might have a little bit of draw or a little bit of fade but to your eye they're going to appear to be very straight and they're certainly going to be very close to the center of the fairway if not in the center of the fairway. So we have to manage these and the way we manage them is I can't have the face too open or too closed. If it's too open the ball is going to go the respective dis uh, direction based on if you're left or right handed and same thing when it's closed. And your path if it gets too inside out or too far too much this way across the golf ball or too much this way again I'm going to see a lot of uh, shaping of the golf ball. The golf ball is not going to go the direction that I want it to go. It's certainly not going to find the center of the fairway or if it does it's going to be by accident. It's not going to be on purpose. So there's one other thing that I want to go over and then we're going to get into some drills that are going to help you uh, to drive it the straightest that you can each and every time. And I've talked about it in other videos and it's called gear effect. And what that is, as you can see this face, it's not flat on, on a driver, your, your fairway woods, your hybrids. The face is not flat, it's actually curved and it's curved on purpose. They do that on purpose. So when I miss the center of the club face, the face 
actually, depending on if I hit it heel or toe, will actually open or it will close. And the ball will actually spin in the opposite direction. So what am I getting at here? Okay, I understand gear effect. Mark, what are you trying to say here? What I'm saying is if we miss the center of the club face, the chances of it going straight, it can still go straight, but the chances of it going straight are, are uh, diminished uh, immensely. So center face contact is really, really important. And so I use at my golf school and I encourage you to get some. There's a link down below. Is this Dr. Scholl's foot spray in a yellow can. I can spray the face. And when I spray the face, it leaves a nice little white powder. And so when I hit a golf ball, it leaves a nice imprint of the golf ball on the face. So I can start to understand, okay, is it the face? Is it the path? because I'm gonna use TrackMan during this video, but not all of us have access to a TrackMan, but now that we understand ball flight and the impact that face and path have on bar, ball flight, if I can start monitoring where I'm catching it on the face, I can start to understand where the shape on the ball is coming from. Is it, is it a face flaw, is it a path flaw, is it a little bit of both? And then the drills we're gonna get into in just a moment, we can start to use those to straighten out our ball flight. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, and then we're going to get into a drill. And remember, I like to start with the least invasive and then work to more invasive things for obvious reasons. If it's simple and I just make a little simple adjustment or change and I start hitting the center of the fairway each and every time, then that's fantastic. I can take it right to the course and, and I can play awesome. So that being said, the first thing I want to discuss is balance. And I see way too many people when they're swinging the driver. And remember, this video is about hitting it straight every time. It's not about distance. So this is more about hitting the center of the club face, having a face and a path that I can control to make sure I project the ball straight down the middle of the fairway. So when I start talking about balance, I see people swinging at a driver and they're falling off it. I see this all the time on my lesson tee. And remember, this club face is very small, and this ball is even smaller. So if I'm swinging at a golf ball and I'm falling off balance, the chances of that center face strike that we, we just talked about in the first segment, again, it goes down uh, dramatically or drastically. So I wanna give you a drill that's gonna help you with your balance. And, and as I've already stated, it's a very simple drill. I've talked about in other videos, it's a PGA Tour finish, I call it. And so when I get to my finish, you can see my trail toe, which is my left toe, is in the ground. My belt buckle's pointed to the target. The club is over my lead shoulder, which for me, a lefty, is my right shoulder. But the most important thing is I'm in balance. So when you go to the driving range, and you're working on hitting this driver straight every time, I want you to start with this. Start with some balance stuff. Mark the face with your Do Dr. Scholl's foot spray, and we're gonna make some, some golf swings after you warm up, and we're gonna finish in as balanced a position as we can. And in an effort of doing this, we're gonna rein in that path so it's not excessively inside out or outside in and we're gonna get a little better command of the club face. And if you have to go a little slower, remember this is not a distance video, this is a straight video. If you have to slow down a little bit, that's okay. You know, because this is about putting it down the center of the fairway, I've gotta get it in play, I wanna hit it straight each and every time. So, from down the line, I'm just gonna make some practice swings, and I'm just gonna hold that finish. So I'm going to hit one, and really what I'm looking for, I'm going to share some TrackMan data with you. But my elite players, I like to keep them with their path in a cone of plus or minus two. And if I can do that and they can manage the face, they're going to hit a lot of fairways. All right, so let's see how we do with that. Again, our focus here is balance because I want center face contact and I want straight. And I want to keep my path and my face in those thresholds that, that we discussed. So let's see how we do. I'm going out at that yellow flag right down the middle of the fairway here. Well, 
Well, that ball flew straight as an arrow and I'm in perfect balance. So you can see my trail foot was in the ground and the club was over my lead shoulder and my belt buckle was pointing to the target. Okay, so you can see in that first swing, uh, I created zero path and zero face. And if I can do that and hit near or in the center of the club face, we're gonna get a ball that tra travels very, very straight, which that ball did. Now, a lot of you might think after looking at that track man dad, okay, my goal, I gotta get zero path, zero face every time. That is not what I'm trying to teach you here. And the reason I say that is there's only one way to get zero path and zero face. Now, if I was a robot or you were a robot and I could just program you and get that every time, that's certainly the most efficient way that, that we would get straight. But since we are human, um, and as long as there's a human on one end of this club, there's gonna be human error. I'm gonna target you more towards a threshold of not getting the path too far inside out or outside in and keeping that face somewhat stable. So the next drill I wanna get into is you struggle with path. You, you've painted the face, you know you're hitting it in the center, but you're still seeing a lot of shape, whether it be a hook or a slice. Um, and you can determine that it's not coming from the face. We'll do something about the face next, but you definitely determine it's not coming from the face. What can I do to fix the path? Well, what I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on your trail shoulder. So for me as a lefty, my trail shoulder is gonna be my left shoulder. If you're a right-handed player, it's gonna be your right shoulder. And what I want you to do is I want you to keep it very stable during the golf swing. And what do I mean by stable? Well, people who swing outside in or come over the top, that shoulder likes to work towards the golf ball or towards the target line. And those people who swing really inside out, you'll see that that shoulder stays back and, and gets them swinging a little bit too much inside out. So if you can, again, determine that you're one or the other, and the way you would do that is if you're outside in, you're gonna see a lot of slices and, and the occasional pull. And if you're somebody who's too inside out, you're gonna see big hooks and the occasional block, is we're gonna rehearse the opposite. And what I mean by that is we're gonna control this, this shoulder. And if I know that I'm over the top, so I'm somebody who this shoulder gets out towards the ball or, or towards the target line, I'm just gonna rest my lead hand or my right hand on that shoulder. I'm gonna to go to the top of my backswing and I'm just gonna keep that shoulder stable. I'm actually pushing against it in the downswing here to keep it from going out towards the target line or towards the ball. And then the, I would do the opposite if I'm somebody who's too inside out. So now I'm gonna put my hand on the back of the shoulder and as my shoulder starts to wanna to go back behind, I'm just gonna drag it a little bit more forward as I'm swinging through impact. And you can notice as I do that, that's really bringing my path closer to zero, which is the target line, which is swinging right down the target line. So again, that'll keep us in the threshold of our path, not getting too inside out, too outside in, and keep us from hitting hooks and slices and seeing the ball not find the middle of the fairway. All right, so I have a little bit more of a tendency to have that shoulder come out over. So I'm just gonna make a couple practice swings, or uh, rehearsal swings without the club. I'm just gonna put my uh, right hand on my left shoulder, my trail shoulder. I'm gonna go to the top and I'm just gonna push against it so I can keep that shoulder really stable during the downswing. And then I'm gonna do it once from down the line, let you guys get a look at that one more time. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a golf swing and see if I can stay again within those thresholds and hit it straight. Again, straight as an arrow. I can't see the track man data right now, but I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty darn good. Contact was right in the middle of the face. I've got two of them right smack dab in the middle. Okay, so there's one more element we need to discuss. We covered uh, balance and, and helping us hit the center of the face and helping us to control the path and the face that way. And then we talked about the path, just a, a very simple little drill you can do by controlling that trail shoulder to make sure we neutralize that path and can deliver a path that's gonna take a lot of the shape off the golf ball, 
But now we got to talk about the face component and the direction of the golf ball, which is really, really important. And you can see the, the two swings that I've made already and the TrackMan data, I was able to zero the face or, or keep it really close to the target line or another way to say it is really square. And there is a common fault that I see, a fault that I see more than any other uh, on my lesson tee when it comes to the driver and people have a really hard time squaring the club face. So they tend to leave it very, very open in the downswing and I have a training aid that's here in my hand that's going to help us with that and it's lag shot and it's the lag shot driver so those of you who have the seven iron and there's a link down below uh, to get more information and get one in your hands today but those of you who've used the seven iron the shaft is is very whippy and so it helps with a lot of things like sequencing tempo hitting the ball further but it can also help us with hitting the ball straighter and that's one of the many th reasons I like it is it helps us with a ton of different things and also you can hit balls with it. You're not swinging it and then putting it down and grabbing your club. You can actually practice with it in your hand and hitting golf balls. But it can also help us to square the club face or learn to square the club face better and the reason is with this whippy shaft it's really hard to square. So if you're somebody who struggles with hitting it left or right depending on uh, if you're left or right handed so whatever a push would be for you but you have a hard time squaring the club face or you know that you get it very open in the downswing then this would be a great solution for you. So I'm just going to hit a couple and I'm going to work on see if I can release it a little harder a little earlier in the downswing to make sure that it gets square for impact and that I don't leave it out to the left which for me a left-handed player would be the face being open. So I'm just gonna make a couple practice swings and as I've said in other videos, the beautiful thing about lag shot is you really don't, you just have to do it. <laughs> the club is in your hands, just do it. You don't have to really think about anything. It's just getting the shot pattern that you're looking for. So for me, I'm gonna feel like I release this club really early and a release very simply is just getting the left hand for me, the trail hand over the lead hand, uh, or the trail forearm over the lead forearm. So just making sure the toe of the club passes the heel of the club. And I'll give you a, a cool little drill for that too if you struggle to feel that. But let me hit one first. So again, I'm working on feeling like I square this very early to get a nice straight ball flight. Yeah, so I did leave that out to the left a little bit. So let's talk about this other drill that if, if you're somebody who, yeah, I still have a hard time squaring it up. What can I do to square it up? A great drill is just to split your grip like you're holding a hockey stick. And what I want you to do is just make some swings. We're not going to hit any balls this way. I'm just going to make some swings. But as I do that, I can feel the left hand really passing over the right or I can really feel that, that club uh, releasing aggressively. The thing is, I got to feel it back here. I can't wait until I get to impact. That's too late. So I got to feel it happen earlier in the golf swing. So let's go one more time now that I've felt that split grip. Let's see if I can launch one out there straight. Yeah, and that's much better. So now you understand how to hit a driver straight every time. I've gone over a few key concepts that we need to understand to find the middle of the fairway. I've given you a few great drills to control your path and your face as well as a fantastic training aid that will help you find the middle of the fairway each and every time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have two more here right now that I promise will continue to help you improve your game. And remember, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment.